Okay, today we have a big announcement that we both worked on uh, for the past year very hard, and I think it's going to be a big announcement. Hi, I'm Malik Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. Before we start, I want to clarify one thing. This is not an announcement for a new LUT pack. Today we're introducing the world's first free LUT sharing platform, and we're calling it FreshLUTs.com. Here you'll find the world's largest collection of free LUTs. You can simply browse through all the free LUTs. By the way, new LUTs are added all the time. And let me emphasize that Fresh LUTs is 100% free. Let's dive right in. Again, this is the homepage and it displays LUTs randomly. You can click on latest LUTs here to see the latest LUTs added. And by clicking on browse LUTs here, you can search for specific LUTs. For example, I will go to tint here and I will search for all the LUTs that gives the image a blue tint, for example. And I'll hit search. And these are the LUTs that gives the image a blue tint. And when you find the LUT you like, you can simply click on it to preview it. First, you have here a preview for before and after. This will give you a clear idea on how this LUT will affect the colors of your image. And this page will also provide basic info about the LUT. For example, this particular LUT is intended to be used with Rec. 709 footage. It will give a blue tint to the footage. It doesn't give your image a high key or a low key look. It's natural. And its particular style is film emulation. And to download the LUT, all you need to do is to click the download button. So I'll simply click on download here. And a dot cube file is downloaded directly. So there is no need here to deal with a zip file. You just download the dot cube file directly. And if you ever lose a LUT file you downloaded before and you need to relocate uh, the LUT, you can simply click on the drop down menu here, go to my dashboard, and here you have a link to my downloads where it will show you all the LUTs you downloaded before. Okay. Let's say that you don't want to download the LUT file right away. Maybe you just want to save it for later. Well, you can simply add the LUT to your favorites. For example, on this particular LUT page, I'll simply click on add LUT to favorites. And now the LUT is added to favorites. And to view my favorites, I can simply click on the drop down menu here and go to my favorites. And these are the LUTs I added to my favorites. Let's get back to the LUT page. And if you click on the name of the filmmaker who created this LUT, you can find the filmmaker's basic info along with their contact information. And if you scroll more, you'll find all the LUTs created by this particular filmmaker. Okay, now that we covered how to download LUTs and deal with the platform, what if you want to upload your own LUTs? So for example, you have this image here and you change the look in a certain way. For example, you increase the exposure a bit, brought lift down, and simply gave the image a fast look. For example, this is a good look. Now I need to generate three files in order to share this LUT on freshluts.com. First, we need to save the image before the grading. So I'll simply delete this node, right click and select grab still. So this is the image before the grading. Undo, now I have the node with the grading and this is the image with grading. I'll right click and select grab still. So now I have two images that represents before and after. And finally, I need to save the LUT file. In order to save the LUT file, it's pretty simple. Make sure to select clips so you can see your clips here right click on this particular clip and simply select generate 3d LUT I'll simply go to desktop create a new folder call it test LUT create and I'll simply name the LUT test LUT so I just exported the LUT file now I simply need to save the before and after images so I'll select both images. I'll simply hit Command and A or Control and A if you're on a PC. Right click and select Export. And now I'll simply go to the same folder with Test LUT and simply call this Test LUT. Make sure to change the format from DPX to JPEG. That's much easier. And simply hit Export. And now in the folder we just created, we have five files. You don't need to use DRX files. You just have the JPEG of the before image. So this is the image before, this is the image after, and this is the actual LUT file it's dot cube so now we'll just head to fresh LUTs to add our new LUT so here I'll simply click on add LUT and this is where you upload your LUT file so for example I'll just name this test LUT 2 and I'll select the before image so I'll simply go to desktop test LUT and locate the image before this is the before image then I'll locate the after image so this is the after image and finally I'll locate the LUT file so I'll simply go to the same folder select the LUT file and open. And finally, I need to give this some information. First of all, what was the gamma this LUT based on? For the most part, you'll leave this to Rec. 709. Then the color cast, I believe it just made the image a bit red. The key. Now the key is pretty simple. 
it just answers one question. Does this slot make the image brighter or darker? Or maybe it doesn't affect that at all. So I have only three options here. For example, I'll simply select neutral here and finally I'll select a style. And if you want to add a new style, you can simply click on this button here to add a new style if you didn't find the style you're looking for. So for example, I'll simply call this film emulation for now and I'll simply hit create LUT. And this is the LUT I just added. Note that now I have the before and after where people can uh, check the effect of this LUT, the basic information I added about the LUT, and people can download and add to favorites. And note that because I uploaded this LUT, this is my original creation, I can delete the LUT or I can edit the LUT if I wanted to. And I can click on one of these buttons here to share the look I just created without needing to send people a zip file. I send people an actual page that shows them the LUT before and after, and they can download it right away as a cube file, not as a zip file. And of course, at any point, you can simply click on the drop down menu here and select edit profile, where you can add basic information about yourself. So the name, your website, and when you add your showreel, make sure you paste the embed code for your video, not the direct link to the video here. You can find the embed code, whether on Vimeo or YouTube. And you can add information about yourself, your picture profile, okay. Frankly, it took me a very long time and a lot of effort to build this. Uh, it wasn't easy. The goal here is to build um, the largest database of lookup tables in, in the world. A, a database that we can all access and download the free uh, creative looks we like and share also our creative looks that we created with the world. Um, I hope you can help me with this by telling people about uh, fresh LUTs, by downloading the LUTs you like, and maybe by contributing the creative looks that you create. Thank you.